Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is so crazy, all the support from Lee Ho Mang fans, yeah, going crazy, big up everyone. But yeah, let's move on to the next album. So this album came out 2005, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Track number one, let's go. What's going on? Are you mad? First of all, how about I'm gonna make with the channel? Okay. <laughs> First of all, the flow. <laughs> so I'm listening to this tune, yeah. 
the rhythm, the production was a bit choppy at first. It was like syllables and stuff, and it was a bit all over the place. But then I like it because it's like it's hip hop rap style beat, the drums. But then you got a little bit of traditional Chinese elements coming in. I like it. It's like tingling the back of my ears. You know, it's crazy. I like that mix. Whoever mixed it up, apparently Lee Hong Wang, the producer. Delicious production. Ten out of ten. That tune though, the flows, he came in, he was rapping, rapping. I like it when he's rapping. I, I like his rap flow, but he does sing very beautifully. I I'm pretty sure the next song gonna be singing. But that rap flow, he was going crazy. You saw at the end. He was going crazy. I don't know how he did it, I was trying it, but that's crazy. For the intro, I will give that one, let's say 9 out of 10. Because he was going crazy. At the last, it would have been 10 out of 10 if. He had like crazy chorus that hit different, but that chorus was still good. It was a rap song, you know, and he still had that element, high pitch vocals and stuff, but it was predominantly rap. I like the rap, you know, I can't complain at all. So far, so good. Let's move on to track number two. Let's go. Woo! Some smooth Chinese R and B style like that. Trying to predict the beats. I like that tune. Do you know what? I've realized, yeah, 
The R&B songs, they sound like American style R&B, but this one sounded pure, the traditional vibes that kept it, what's the word, that kept it, that kept it traditional. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but my point is, this didn't sound like it was trying to be American or anything like that. This sounded pure, like, cultural to the Chinese, Chinese group, you know, because the way he was flowing on it was like R&B style, you know what I'm saying? The, the the melody you can't control that like, well you can't control it but it's gonna sound how it sounds you know but the production the drum beats it was like smooth it had me a bit hypnotized I was dancing about but then that little what's the word this is just the little sprinkle of the Chinese element spiced it up perfectly kept it nice and old school Lee Holmes vocals as well you heard the power you heard the way he was stretching it towards the second part of the chorus very nice so far so good. Hopefully this is more like a R&B smooth jam type of album. I don't know. Hopefully it's not too sad. But so far I'm having fun. We got rap and R&B. This is a good start, you know. So yeah. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today, but it's okay. We got videos dropping every day. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Everyone at Billy Billy. Hello. We got gem coming up next. So like and subscribe to stay up to date. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.